Thanks so much, Bogey. First of all, before we get into basketball, congrats on the contract extension. How are you feeling? Thank you so much. Feel amazing. Feel amazing. And you have your dad in town for the last couple of weeks. What's just, it been like to have him here in the U.S. and be able to watch you play, watch you get the contract extension, everything? It's an unbelievable feeling, you know, especially having him on the road. Uh, yeah, I, I, we didn't honestly plan, you know, to have him here during the contract extension, but yeah. that, that just happened. So um, I'm happy that, you know, he's here, the part of the journey. He he been here for forever. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he's still here. It's awesome, really. It's I'm sure after last night you got a lot of texts, a lot of phone calls. What did the guys in the locker room say this morning when you showed up to shoot around? Yeah, they all congratulated me and they're really happy about it. That really makes me happy too, uh, you know, and um, as I said, it's it's all part of everyone's process, you know, and uh, everybody contributed in my success. So um, everybody helped each other. Well, we're excited for you Thank to be you. here for four more seasons. Thank um, you so much. Of course. Um, getting into basketball now, I know I said this morning 13 games left, only 13 games. You said that's a lot of games yeah. still left in the season. Just what's the biggest message been from head coach Quinn Snyder about what to focus on these last couple of weeks of the regular season? Keep getting better, keep working, you know. Mm -hmm. um, attack every single day uh, and use every single opportunity. You know, there's not many games left, like you said. and. Uh, we got to get it, get it together. So uh, we know what is in front of us, and uh, we're just trying to get in play of playoff spot. And for a team like Golden State, one of the best three-point shooting teams in the league, what's the key to defending a team like that? I know Quinn talks about not overhelping, but sometimes with a team like this, you have to overhelp and then get back to your man, right? Like, what's kind of the strategy against a team like this? Um, to focus on our game as well, you know, uh, to not just only focus on their game mm -hmm. and. To rebound the basketball and run, you know, don't don't try to uh, play in their pace. They play pretty pretty fast, but uh, they can also throw it to the post and and run different sets. Um, but you know, uh, just locking on our game and the things that we were working last couple of days, uh, these three three days before without the game was great for us. We practiced hard and uh, we were we worked on our togetherness on the floor. Last but not least, I know you were asked this this morning, but a lot of dead balls and timeouts, you go and grab the basketball from the ref. You said, is that kind of like a ritual it's for you to go? It's a ritual, yeah. I, I don't know since when I started doing that, but I think it goes a long time yeah. ago. I think even before NBA. I'm not sure. But there are some games for sure I don't even, like, I'm, I'm just locked in even yeah. more. Um, but, yeah, it's a part of a ritual. I like it. I absolutely love it. Thank you. Vogue, appreciate your time. Good luck tonight. Thank you. See you. Guys.